Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of the brand new Ariana Grande's Sweet Like Candy. So this perfume launched this year, 2016, and is Ariana's third fragrance and the second spinoff to the original Ari. So the box looks like this this time, and it says Sweet Like Candy by Ariana Grande in kind of this white pinkish box. And then it's, um, and it's actually kind of beveled in. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to catch that or not, but there's kind of like a beveled edge right here. Um, and then you have what looks like it says sweet like candy, um, or sweet candy, kind of in these different color letters all the way around. Um, the side of the box is plain pink, except for it's got Ari Signature with a kiss. Same with this side, Ari Signature with a kiss. And then the top, it just says Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy in kind of a very plain text font. And then the back of the box has this, which is um, a picture of Ari and it says Sweet Candy. Sweet. There's no T. And then Candy is kind of like, but anyway, it's supposed to say Sweet Candy. Um, then you kind of got Ari biting on a strawberry and she's got kind of the Dangerous Woman bunny ears. But they're more lacy um, and fun. So, I got the 50 milliliter, um, mainly because I didn't realize that there was going to be a 100 milliliter. Um, and so I just have the 50 mil for now. I did actually go and order the 100 mil from Ulta um, and got the, the like the free gift that's supposed to be with it, except for I obviously don't have those right now. So, the bottle looks like this time, and it is very similar to the original Ari bottle. Um, same exact bottle design. Except for, it's a baby pink this time. The bottle is, it's very, very, very baby pink. Um, and kind of, let's see if I can get my, woo! Anyway, um, very baby pink, and it's kind of a soft matte finish, and then you've got the baby pink pom-pom, and then you kind of got a little bit of a more rosy gold sprayer this time than it was on the previous one. So, and then this is kind of that same baby pink. Um, the lid is. So the notes for um, Sweet Lake Candy, top notes are sparkling blackberry, Italian bergamot, and pear, middle notes are jasmine sandback, fragapani, and dewy honeysuckle with base notes of creme de casis, marshmallow, creamy woods, and sexy vanilla. So before I go too much farther in there, I do want to tell you guys, um, some of you may or may not know this, creme de casis is actually a wine. Um, it's a wine made out of fermented uh, black currants. So it's not actually like casis and cream. It's a blackberry or black currant wine. So, when you first first spray this, first spray, I'm definitely getting that blackberry, um, and it. I feel this fragrance is very definitely true to its name. Definitely very sweet, like candy. Um, definitely get that. You get a little bit of the crispness of the pear, which the pear reminds me of the pear that is in the original Ari. Um, but as it starts to dry down. The florals are there. Um, I'm not really getting a whole lot of bergamot um, as a citrusy note to it at all. So I'm really getting more of that blackberry. And it, the, um, kind of the press release said it was like a sugar frosted blackberry. Which I'm definitely getting because I can see that sweetness from the very, very, very beginning. I get a little bit of the florals. If I had to pick out um, a definite main floral, it'd probably be the fragapani or the jasmine. It's not super strong floral at all in that heart. Um, it's just adding a little bit of a softness to the fragrance and making it a little bit more pretty. Um, as you start to get down that dry down, though, I definitely get that creme de cases, that blackberry or black currant wine note. Definitely adds kind of addictiveness to the fragrance um, and kind of it's not boozy at all. And I don't want anyone to think that it is definitely. You can see that it is a wine-infused note, um, but it's not like a fermented nasty wine. It doesn't smell like alcohol at all. You're definitely just kind of getting that rich deepness to that black currant. Um, I'm definitely getting that marshmallow. The marshmallow is definitely there. Not as It's a different kind of marshmallow, though, that is in, than in Ari. Um, this is definitely more of a sweeter, candied-like marshmallow. 
Um, bouncing off of that sugar frosted blackberry in the top, we're definitely getting a very, very good marshmallow note. Cashmere woods, it's kind of structuring out the base of that wood, the fragrance. I'm not getting like a woody note, but it is kind of adding just kind of a, a almost like that little finishing touch to the base. And the vanilla, I'm definitely getting, um, because I feel like the vanilla and the marshmallow kind of come together to create almost like this French vanilla marshmallow. You know, with the blackberry kind of pulling it, you know, pulling it in. And the creme de case is definitely adding into that base and giving it even more of a kind of a berry note. This is not, I, would not, I will say that this is definitely different from Ari. I love this one. Um, personally, my favorite out of the three Ariana Grande fragrances. It's just very sweet, and I love it. And it's not like sticky, like syrupy sweet. It's very like soft and elegant. It is candy sweet. But it's not, like, jaw-breaking sweet. Like, when you spray it, you're not going to feel like you're getting cavity from it. It's beautiful. It's elegant. It's pretty. Definitely representative of Ari herself. Um, I can see where it has ties back to the original fragrance, because I do say this is more of a um, candied spin on the original. And I definitely see that. I can't tell you guys how much I love, love, love this fragrance. And the fact that they put that creme de cassis wine note in there is amazing. I'm in love with that note in this fragrance. It just adds the perfect touch to this fragrance. If I had to pick out three standout notes, I would definitely say it's the blackberry, the creme de cassis, and the marshmallow. It is just basically this really fluffy, fruity marshmallow fragrance. I love it. It is beautiful. Probably in the top five of my favorite fragrances of 2016 release so far. Love, love, love this fragrance. Lasting Power, it probably lasts about the same as Ari. I'm definitely seeing no difference in the Lasting Power, um, kind of how Ari started off. So, I definitely think this is more of a daytime fragrance. I feel like if you were to compare them, that Ari would be a more of a nighttime version. And this would be more of a daytime version. Not saying that Ari is a date or is a nighttime perfume at all, because I don't think it really is. Um, but if you were to compare the two, that would be kind of the comparison difference. But this isn't. I don't want you to think that this is just another spin on Ari, because it is definitely its own fragrance, and it definitely could stand alone on its own. So definitely, I think this is more of a summer fall type fragrance. Um, perfect time for this to launch. I definitely want to see how this fragrance develops with the high heat and the high, like, and the low, and the lows, just to see where it kind of goes and does what it does. So, thank you guys so much for watching my review of Sweet Like Candy by Ariana Grande. If you like this review, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already and you would like to, please hit the subscribe button down below. That always helps out and love to see that. And as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. If you do not follow me on anywhere there, please definitely do go follow me, especially Instagram. Um, Twitter, I'm, I'm active on, but it's more Instagram that I'm more active on. Um, I will always message you back if you message me on Inst on Twitter or even Instagram. I will, you know, message you back. But um, Instagram's kind of where I'm more uh, active, more present. Um, when I'm getting ready to release a new, you know, release a new review, you guys will get the promo picture there first. You also will get, um, if I'm announcing a new perfume for, you know, Ariana Grande or anyone, that'll go there as well. Whoever it may be, the fragrance will definitely get launched, announced there first before anywhere else. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye!